Oh, someone's gonna get run over. Good day, first all travellers, and welcome back. The sun's out, hallelujah. Today, I am in North London, exploring the area to bring you a bit of a tour of the music of the UK. So if you're a fan of British music, and more specifically, London music, stay tuned. The tube. We can talk things over a little time. Promise me you won't stay by the line. When I get So as you can probably tell by the music that I just played, I am at Warwick Avenue, which is close to Paddington. It's on the Bakerloo line. More on that in a second. This video was actually requested by a viewer. Hello, there is the comment there. Now, that comment, as you can see, was more about Adele. But to be honest with you, while researching Adele, there wasn't really a lot for me to do in terms of Adele. She lived in Tottenham, she lived in South Norwood, she lived in Brighton. Um, there wasn't a lot I could do. So I've kind of changed it a little bit, changed it up. We are going to have a look at some other UK music stars. I hope it's a good uh, replacement for Adele. So back to where I am right now, Warwick Avenue. Now this song is a bit obscure. It's by a Welsh artist called Duffy. She was around like late noughties, 2007, 2008 era. She was very big. She was a bit of a one hit wonder. She did a song called Mercy. Warwick Avenue was like a follow up, I believe. And the reason why it's kind of well known, it's kind of a love song. She's um, in a taxi for the whole video which I'm showing you now it was um, basically one shot all the way through of her crying obviously had a bad breakup or something maybe she got dumped on Facebook I don't know this is a good place to start off a little tour so I didn't realize that this area of London you can actually go to a lot of music related spots by walking which is great so um, on that note we're gonna go on to the next one which is much more famous and I've never been there I'm actually quite excited to go there Just walking down Mornington Crescent. Look what I found, an old style red phone box. I've not seen one of them for years. A lot of these, I believe, have now been converted into like Wi-Fi things, because, you know, no one uses phone boxes anymore. Okay, I'm now at my next spot. Behind me, you can see just a pretty normal street, right? It's nothing special. And there's a zebra crossing. You know what I'm gonna say, this is Abbey Road, i.e. the Beatles. It's a very famous area, particularly for tourists when it comes to music in London. So Abbey Road, there's Abbey Road Studios. The Beatles used to record there. They did an album, I believe, called Abbey Road. And of course, there's the iconic photo of them, the four of them crossing the zebra crossing. And, um, you know, I'm not one for tourist traps. This isn't a tourist trap, it's something good, but there's a lot of tourists here. As you can see behind me, there's people crossing roads, taking silly photos. Of course, I'm not gonna do that, am I? Oh, someone's gonna get run over. So just a bit of a tip, if you don't want that to happen with the car horns and potentially getting run over by a bus and ending up in a grave, you might wanna stand um, here. There's like this monument thing, I don't know what it is. And basically you can just take photos from here. Just be clever about it, you know. Obviously this is a, you know, normal working road. People will run you over. That's um, English drivers for you. Believe me, I'm one of them. So, you know what? I'm just walking across the crossing now. I am a beetle. So, um, normally I would be slagging off these tourists, of course, like I normally do. But, you know what? They've actually come out of zone one or zone two to do something a bit different. You know, there's not a lot of people here, so it's um, not too bad. The one thing that I noticed Firstly, is it's a bit strange for me, being a Londoner, you know, I would walk across zebra crossings like, without a second thought, but um, what was the second thing? That was it, the drivers. So, I think the drivers, you know, they drive around here a lot. They know that there's gonna be people wanna be a beetle. Uh, so they do stop, you know, they don't uh, mow people down, which makes a change. And here's Abbey Road Studios, right next to the zebra crossing. As you can see from the signs, it is closed to the public but not to the DHL delivery man. And obviously there's a lot of Beatles fans that come here. 
to leave their mark. Good old Chloe, I hope she had a good birthday. So despite the actual studios being closed to the public, there is a shop next door which has got a nice bit of history on the wall. So 1969 was when the Abbey Road album was released. So it's got all the history all the way up until the 2010s. So yeah, if you're interested in this sort of thing, music, Beatles, then come here. So this is cool, shows all the other artists that have been here. Spice Girls, Mark Ronson, Florence and the Machine. I'm not sure about Kim Kardashian. place was shockingly expensive as you can see um, in the little montage I just did um, the street sign a hundred pounds for that and even the little one was 25 pound mugs for nine pound and t-shirts for 25 quid which is just extremely extortionate for me uh, but you know like I said if you're a Beatles fan big Beatles fan maybe you'll want to shell out a bit of money on some Beatles memorabilia So as we continue our little journey through the music of the UK and those guys are collecting leaves, I don't know what that's about, I brought you to somewhere else called Primrose Hill which is behind me. Look at the colours, it's awesome, the blues and the greens of late October. Anyway, Primrose Hill is just opposite Regent's, Regent's Park and London Zoo which of course is another great place to come when you're in London if you like animals. But Primrose Hill is famous or infamous really for affluent models, actors and musicians they all live around here, people like Kate Moss, Jude Law, Patsy Kensett, the All Saints, remember them? Brilliant. And basically, it's, um, like I said, it's a very affluent area. So you have Ferraris driving around, you have Mercedes, BMWs. I used to have a Mercedes, those were the days. And this is a great place to come. Imagine this in the summer, it'd be awesome. And also the evening, you've got the um, little lights along the pass. Great place for a walk, beautiful. We're now going to go to Camden, all right? Finally! Tell me to be alone. 